So we got this piston installed in the valve body here. Now we need to take this thrust washer. That needs to go in there like that. Take a little bit of DC4, throw it in there because there's a bearing in there. And we're going to put another bearing, and we're going to put another bearing in there. So I want to fill up this with some DC4. And that way, when this bearing here goes in there, like that, it will be good and lubricated along with this thrust washer. And then, once that's in place, okay, so that's in place, like that. There. That's in place. Now, the spool goes in place. Again, I'm going to lube that up with some DC4. Um, this DC4 will mix with the hydraulic fluid and not cause any blockage. It ends up becoming part of the fluid when it's uh, worked through a few times. So this, I've lubricated this with WD-40. That's lubricated with DC4. That is going to go on there like that. So that spins on there like that with the wheel. And as you can see, it spins quite nicely with all that in there. So now we're going to take these return springs. Oops. Those end up being stationary in the spool. And then those don't go up and down, but the springs are piston springs, and they return the piston back to where it needs to go when it goes around this bearing right here. So I'll be back in a minute. I got to lube these up with some DC4, and then I got to put everything together, and we'll see how it works. I'll be back.